Hey guys, this is Step Up. So I wanted to share an encouraging dream that I had actually a couple years ago, but it applies now in my understanding to this Feast of Sukkot as our blessed hope and high watch, especially around the seventh to eighth day. And this is encouraging because it, it talks about a specific scripture that points to this timing of the feast. So in my dream, I was at my home and I was sitting on my bed and then I felt the presence of the Lord come over me and I knew Jesus was coming and I was like, yes, yes. And I was so excited I wanted Jesus to come that I started saying in Hebrew, Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai, over and over again. Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai, Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai. And then I woke up and I said it so many times that I remembered it when I woke up. It was basically still on my tongue, like, you know. And I was like, that's weird because I don't know Hebrew. I never heard this terminology before that dream. And um, it was it was just so random. Like, I'm like, what is what what does that utterance mean? And so I looked it up and then I realized it meant blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And that was amazing but looking further into it I found an article here and I got an ex excerpt out of this article it's an extensive article so I'm gonna link it in the description box box uh, for you um, it's very good but the article talks about um, our blessed hope being the timing of Sukkot as well as, um, you know, the last great day of the feast. And, um, you know, the seventh day of the feast or the eighth day. And um, this is, it's just so interesting because uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. The article talks about how the seventh day of the feast is like the seventh day of the Feast of Sukkot is a mere image and like the, the seventh day of the Feast of Passover. And as, you know, the Lord revealed this to me before, so I was thinking about covering this material now. Um, and it actually taught, um, the Lord was revealing timings for everything, how I mentioned that there's a 40 day. So I might get into that in another video, Lord willing. But, you know, just to finish covering this, I wanted to get this out there to just encourage you, you know, as we see the day approaching. So this serves as, you know, more confirmation for our blessed hope being in this timing. So with this article, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus said, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hoshana Rabbah, the great Hosanna, on the last day of the feast, the 21st of Tishri, the day of the great Hosanna was celebrated. It was the climax of the day that was the climax of the whole season of feasts. Holy Days. Hosanna translates as Save Now. The people prayed especially for God's salvation through Mashiach or Messiah, the Anointed One. A joyous crowd assembled, carrying palm branches a couple of meters in length. It was said to resemble a forest in motion if seen from a rooftop. There was silence in the crowd as the priest said the Hallel praise Psalms 118, to which the people responded at every line with 
Hallelujah. The people proceed seven times around the altar. As they got to the verse 25 20 to 29, they joined in with the words, Hosanna, make thy salvation now manifest, O Lord, and O Lord, send now prosperity. And they would wave their palm branches as they reached the words, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The godly would greet the coming Messiah in their hearts, knowing it applied to him. The joy of this celebration became proverbial. He that has not seen Simchat Betha Shoebha has not seen joy in this life. It was on this last great day of the feast, the day of messianic expectation, that Jesus said, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Found in John 7.37 he offered living water to anyone who would believe and accept him. He was saying, Look to me and be saved. I am the great Hosanna. What Jesus was trying to tell us is that the next time he comes at the timing of the rapture, which is the first departure, when is when we see him face to face. The next time we will get to see him will be when the people say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The only time the Jewish people recite this verse for Psalms 118 is on the last day of tabernacles. So right after the Lord made his first triumphal entry and the people cried, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, he told us that we would not see him again until the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles, when once again the people cry, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So I say with this knowledge that we call out in our hearts, minds, and through our word, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Call out with me one loud voice. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus, and deliver us unto yourself, so where you are, there we may be also. Hallelujah. Jesus is at the door. I pray this bless you as it has me, and may the peace of Christ be with you and all your own. In Jesus Christ, amen.